I, I let him too much. I, also wasn't, I think I closed my wrong eye. I wasn't prepared to have my, my gun shoulder like that either. Balls are getting in my way. I was too busy trying to focus on what kind of bird it was. <laughs> Hey, good morning everyone, it's day two here up in New York for the Collegiate Waterfowl Tour, hunting with students from St. Lawrence University. Uh, right here to my left, I got Nate. He is the current president of the DU chapter here. And then at the end here, we're actually lucky, lucky enough to be hunting with Eli, uh, it's Hunter's cousin that we hunted, or that we hunted with yesterday in the previous video. So, uh, very fortunate to have this opportunity to sit here with him and uh, get this kind of view, watch the sunrise here. So. Um, and actually, so Eli has his own guiding service. So Eli, do you want to kind of explain what that is and, and how that's been going? Uh, so I run North Wind Curls. Um, we specialize mainly in divers, but we do October puddle ducks and September goose as well. Um, this year we've been doing really good on the divers so far. It's been generally warm, but um, it hasn't really affected that much. Uh, We've been seeing a lot of long tails, bluebells so far, and the golden eyes have just started moving in the past week with the full moon. Uh, really looking forward to the rest of the year with the cold that we've got right now. Should be good. Well, we already had, what did you say we had? A hen golden eye. Hen golden eye already coming to the decoys, so. Didn't uh, shoot too well. Yeah, we let that one go, so. Uh, but hopefully, yeah, I'm sure things will start picking up here and we'll have a, a repeat of yesterday, hopefully. So stay tuned, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Normally, like, what we're gonna see is they're all gonna come across, and they're either gonna go that way, or they're gonna turn and go into the bay. Yep. And they'll work their way, like, into the bay as the day goes on. Oh, right in front of us. What is that? Gold eye. That's gold eye. No, oh, yeah. I think I hit that one. Yeah, you did. You hit him. You can see the way his wings reacted. Now, don't wait for me. I'm a close. Shoot your birds. That one I could have shot literally dead. Like, yeah, right here. yeah. Then, Rip them. Don't worry about me. Kind Once you guys shoot your limit, it's I'll. Al it's almost like a, a habit of mine to try and wait now because I never get to shoot. Yeah. With the clients in the boat. Mm hmm. Oh, that was. One's injured bad. Both? Oh, yeah. That's okay. Okay. I'm gonna load my gun. We have to pull bangers, right? Uh, you literally just untie it from the boat and just let it sit. Yeah. I'm gonna go do that. Watch out. The one's right. Oh, is this you? Yeah, I saw what they were doing. It's right on the edge of me not wanting to stay out here anymore. Um, so, pretty much, we'll end up picking up and we'll move in. Uh, the wind picked up a little earlier than what we thought. Uh, we were expecting to sit out farther a little bit longer, maybe 9 30, 10, but we didn't make it to 7 30. You can thank the weatherman for that one. Uh, so we'll end up picking up. The birds are flying into the bay right now because uh, the big water is getting rough. So we'll pick up and we'll move in the bay and hopefully uh, pick up a raft in there. There's actually birds flying off the bow of the boat in the bay right now. Um, so yeah, that's the game plan. Hopefully we'll get on the long tails in the bay. Especially in the catch that wind. That's the problem I think they were gonna run into right now. Like they're 
they can get their wings in the wind and be 15 yards back in two seconds. The boat's moving so much yeah. right now. That's yeah. A lot of variables working against you. That's cool though. Take it off. There's your video. There's my miss. Never even flinched. <laughs> I didn't lead him. 